It's Rami Kleinstein on Israel Hour Radio with Ehavini, 88.7 WRSU. Love that song. At the risk of sounding like an obsessed fan, this guy is really my favorite Israeli singer of all time. I mean, I've been doing this radio show for 20 years. Rami Kleinstein, it is great to talk to you. Thanks so much for coming back to Israel Hour Radio. First of all, I, I wish you a Mazal Tov. Apparently, I'm, I'm told that you uh, have a new addition to the family. Yes, we do have an addition. His name is Nero, and he was born uh, a month ago. Mazal, <laughs> mazal Tov to you and your family. So now, is this your fifth child? This is my fifth child, yes. yes. The Meshi, uh, she's, she's 25. Right. And Noam is 16. Theo is uh, four and a half. Uma is uh, almost uh, two years. And uh, Milo is the new, uh, the new, uh, the new edition. It's quite in 2017. <laughs> and are, are you getting any sleep these days? Uh, not much. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, experience helps. Yes. Um, and Alex is great. Alex, my wife. And um, that's, you know, that's, 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 how the, that's how the baby sings. <laughs> well, Mazal Tov to you. We're so happy for you, and I, I know I, I can tell you're having a lot of fun. Uh, I, we just played last week your new song, Basof Kulam Chosrim Abaita. So obviously, I'm assuming there is a new album in the works. What uh, are you up to these days? So this new album is a greatest hits album. Um, it will be out before uh, Rosh Hashanah, and it will be um, a, a, a kind of mid-summary. I, I like calling it a mid-summary of, of my career, because uh, um, I'm very, very busy. And, um, um, and maybe you're saying it's a mid-summary, maybe there, there's a lot of ambition there, because uh, it's 30 years. Wow. It should be exact 31 years. Um, so uh, there'll be uh, there'll be some uh, forty songs uh, in uh, in this album, and uh, one of the and and, and, and one of the, there's only two new songs. One one is the uh, Sakhtilam to Zuma and uh, there's uh, there's going to be one more new song which I'm I'm, I'm uh, I've working on with Yonatan uh, Razel. Uh, a great, uh, a great performer and uh, songwriter, and uh, I actually came back from the studio working on this song, and um, it, uh, it's, uh, it's very exciting. Wow, it's it's great to have a greatest hits co- compilation from you because you just have so many. I'm looking forward to that. That's great. Um, thanks, thanks, thanks. Last last year, you had an amazing collaboration with Karen Pellis. We all uh, watched with admiration because we said, this is a match made in heaven. How did this not happen sooner? Uh, what was it like? And tell me about the story about of how you got together with Karen Pellis. Well, um, actually, the, um, um, the, the, the person behind the scene who actually uh, made this thing happen is my wife, Alex who uh, nudged me all the time, call Karen Pellis, and uh, why don't you write a song together? It was very, uh, it, it, was, it, it was just like that. And uh, after, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't have that uh, kind of uh, personality, but Alice, she, 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 she makes me whole by, 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 by pushing me that <laughs> way. And that, after about two or three times, I did make that call to Karen, and um, a day after she was at my place. At my studio, and we uh, met, and we wrote a song, and it was great, and it was uh, it was like a miracle, and uh, we, we worked for about a year and a half uh, writing songs, and suddenly we saw that we have an album, uh, and we yeah, we recorded it, and uh, the next thing, or uh, the next thing you know, we, we had a we had a performance out, so. It's really very special. She's a she's a very gifted writer, and she's a very she has a, a splendid personality. And um, I saw that also uh, in the writing stage, and and also on the stage stage, which was uh, a really fun uh, uh, show and a fun gig. And we're actually we're, we're still performing together. We uh, we have um, we, we still have shows going on here in Israel. Uh, as I have performances um, that I perform uh, with my own uh, uh, WhatsApp, and um, that you know that 
that's, that's the story about uh, Karen and I. Well, well, we'll talk about your concerts, in the, your upcoming concert in, in the U.S. in a minute, but any chance you uh, can bring that show with Rami and Karen Pellis to the United States at some point? Is there a discussion of that? Well, well I, I'd love that to happen. And if you have some pull on this <laughs> issue, uh, I'm, I'm sure Karen and I would, uh, would uh, love to have that uh, happen. <laughs> Well, well, all right. I'll see what I can do, Rami. Uh, you uh, you pr- Wait, yes, probably <laughs> probably your biggest hit over I don't know the past ten years or so is Matanot Ktanot, and I was just watching this amazing edition of Carpool Karaoke in Israel. We've posted it on, on our Facebook page where you talked about the story of this great song and how it almost didn't come to be. Uh, tell us what was behind uh, the, this beloved beloved song Matanot Ktanot. Well. I was working on an album, and uh, I released one single. Um, and after after about two three months, it was time for a new single to be released. And we were um, we were you know, we, we, we put all you know all our energy on one song, uh, which was called the uh, Bokertov Village Another great song. And we already mixed it, and, and it was you know it was. It was already it was it was it was out there just to be shot out uh, to the to, to the radio, and then I got a call from my wife, and she said, uh, "Rami, uh, hold it for a minute. You have to listen to uh, Mookie's new song." I listened to the song, and uh, uh, exactly at the same time he released "Yelled Shel Ada," which is. A great song, right. but I found I, I found I, I have a really big problem because it's the exact same uh, the, the, the same kind of song which I was about to release, and uh, then we had this deadline, you know, and um, I didn't know what, what I'm going to do because th- this is what we believed in, and we have to st- we, have, we have to keep the song and, and not release it. So I had I had like a week in order to get together uh, one of the other songs um, uh, for, for, this, uh, for this album. And uh, I worked on it like crazy, you know, day and night, day and night. And after a week, we, we released uh, Matanot Kanot. So that's, that's, the, that's the crazy thing about it. We, we make plans, and uh, at the end, um, you don't have you, you don't have any you don't have any control over what really happens at the end because at the end the not so came out and the rest is history. Just, just an amazing, amazing song, and it's just amazing how some of the the, the songs come out of nowhere and become amazing hits. That's terrific. Uh, I need to ask you about your upcoming concerts in the United States. You are coming uh, September 10th to Boston, September 11th, Atlanta, September 12th to New York City, September 13th in Chicago, September 16th in Los Angeles. The, I think the first show I've ever seen with you was Rami Vap Santer. It blew me away. A beautiful, intimate show. Tell us what you have in store for us here in the U.S. Well, this is this is one of the uh, performances I I like best. I have to say, it's uh, it has this combination really of, of intimacy on one on one hand and uh, uh, something you know something that you you have all the uh, you have you know you have all the control in your hands because because the piano for me in in, in that sense the piano for me is, is a whole band. So you know, I have I have these ten, uh, yes, I have these ten fingers, and I have God who blessed me with this with this gift. And uh, performing before uh, audiences just with the piano is, is a real treat for me. And uh, and 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 actually performing in the United States always brings uh, closer to me because I was born there. As you know, I was born in New York, and uh, for me, it, it's. It's a very special, a special kind of performance because then I perform before a mixture of uh, of Jews and Israelis, and and it's really special because because when I perform before the Israelis who live in the United, who live in the United States, it's a kind of um, kind of the soft kulam kuzim it's kind of something nostalgic, maybe. 
when performing before a Jewish American, it, 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 a lot of times it's something new for them. And, and then I have this uh, exciting feeling of, uh, you know, being, you know bringing, bringing, bringing myself to new audiences. And that's really great, bringing, bringing yourself when you're, you know, 54 years old, still bringing yourself to new audiences is always uh, an exciting for me. We love you. We can't wait to see you in the United States uh, and uh, hope to see you when, when you make it to New York. I hope to say hi personally. It's been a while since I've seen you and we always love you. Rami, always wonderful to talk to you. Keep doing what you're doing. You are amazing and uh, thank you so much, so much for joining us once again on the Israel Hour. Thank you. Thank you very much and I'll see you very soon.